Raksha Kavas is the new generation protection system which uh, DRDO is developing and we have got all the systems already developed and this is what is a three layer protection. It starts with the surveillance layer which comes with our Netra, AWNC and also the satellite systems, our UAVs and our ground radars. All of them put together they track and detect our aircrafts and missiles which approaches us. That is called the surveillance layer. And after they do that, it is called IFF, identification of render four. And the moment we identify it, then we need to neutralize them. Neutralization comes in three layers again. Layer one defense comes through the missiles, long range missiles about uh, QR SAM and those kind of stuff, 30, 40, 50 kilometers will negotiate. Then second level, it comes with the soft kill, which we call by pumping microwave power, we make its electronics defunct. And after that, the third level comes in attacks, which we go as a gun attack and also our lasers. So lasers is the direct attack, direct beam DEW systems we call it, direct the energy weapon. So this is the total protection layer in three levels and all these technologies has been developed by India, by DRDO, implemented by Indian industries, all put together protecting the area defense is what we call as Raksha Kavaj. I heard uh, Raksha Kavaj is better than I know. So how, what, in what ways? See, we, we, we don't compare like that. The, essentially the kind of technologies which we developed in this particular systems are unique most of them are going to be the radar signal processing we talk about the fine beam pointing we talk about stabilization accuracy we talk about image processing we talk about electrophysics we talk about all this happens to be absolutely at its best and also the laser as a weapon when we are using it up the fine beam pointing of laser to create that injury with fire is something which india has mastered all this put together it has its own advantages as a system so this is absolutely new and DIDO is in a new avatar this year the two aspects which are showcasing first is we are showcasing solutions number one if you talk about fighters we are defining india is a one-stop solution for fighter along with its arsenals and sensors if you talk about radars the ew systems infrared search and track systems missile approach warning system software defined radios all kind of arsenals and weapons put together is one block so if any country wants a fighter here is india to help you out Russia covers is one more center solutions. Underwater warfare is another solution. So DIDO has come this time with a solution based approach. This is number one for the first time. And the number two, which is very important with the current mandate, DIDO is working on next generation technology. More than 300 technologies has been showcased. The idea behind the industries, the private partners, when they come forward, they see this technology is already developed by DIDO. They need not invest and waste time, money, effort to recreate that technologies again. And more than that, two very interesting phenomena, which has been the crowd puller for the last two days, I'm seeing one is we have created a 3d hall to bring that immersive reality so 10 such solutions which has come forward five five minutes each it inflicts that nasha in parts of the young generation that here is drdo who is working on next generation technology and many have told me drdo pavilion is the showstopper for this year's era india